Noisy Pixel. What's up, nerds, and welcome to another Noisy News Week for the week of October 23rd, 2021. Here's where I fill you in on some notable news posted to NoisyPixel.net this past week. Before I get into the news, I'd just like to say I know that my background still sucks. You don't have to tell me. I see it every goddamn day. Still waiting on the electrical upgrade and all of these reviews that I have been writing and the rest of the staff have been putting out. Not making it any easier to get some of this stuff reorganized. Uh, weather is playing a role in it this time, but uh, we'll get there. Be sure to let me know what you're playing in the comments below and we'll talk about it. So let's get on to the news. We got a few delays. You know, those are always sad. We have Elden Ring delayed by a month from January 22nd, 2022 to February 25th, 2022. The publisher also announced that there will be a beta program for the online stuff. I signed up. We'd probably get in. I still threw my name in the pot just in case someone else has to take it, but I still want to play covering all my bases. Let me know if you put your name in there as well. Let's maybe play some Elden Ring together. I don't know. I don't play multiplayer games. I don't know how it works. Probably have like five PSN friends, I think. Something like that. Who cares? Nintendo also announced that Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp has been delayed. It's coming out in spring 2022 and there is no like concrete release date, but it was supposed to release in December. That was like my December game. Now it's gone. I love Advance Wars. You probably should as well. If you haven't played it, your chance is coming next year. I, I can only imagine that they're just timing it. They release all these other games. You have enough to play. Play Metroid Dread. Sony announced that God of War, the 2018 release that was exclusive to PlayStation 4, is coming to PS5 on January 14th, 2022. I don't know. It's coming with like 4K resolution, unlock frame rate, DLSS, whatever the hell that is. 21.9 widescreen, ultra widescreen resolution. I don't know what Sony is thinking putting these games on PC. Like, it's cool. I get it. It's nice. They're just like putting a spotlight on, hey, PC is probably a better way to play. But oh well, at least more people will get to play this game. I personally think it's uh, not a very good game. I'm more into the old arcadey Kratos. People seem to like this one. A little crybaby Kratos and his crybaby son, like father, like son. Maybe there's a problem with me. Maybe I'm the problem. Regardless, you can play it on PC. Publisher NIS America announced that Crystar will be coming to Switch. And I just want to throw that out there. No one cares about Crystar, but it's coming to Switch and it should. Pretty cool game. It's interesting. It's kind of boring, but uh, yeah, it's fine. Koei Tecmo made a few announcements. One that Blue Reflection Second Light will receive a free demo on PS4 and Switch, but they gave no release date. Further, they announced that the game will have, drum roll, Cat girl outfits plus cat girl bathing suit outfits. <sighs> the double whammy, the grand opus, as they say. Ugh. What I have personally been waiting for. Just because, I don't know, maybe they're more comfortable wearing cat ears, running around dungeons, turning into magical girls, and fighting off these monsters. Who are you to say that they're not? Anyway, looking forward to this game. And let me know if you're looking forward to it in the comments below. Bandai Namco announced that they will release Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation Code Fairy as a single player campaign to the Gundam Battle Operation game, which is a multiplayer focused game. This will have a single player experience and release in three episodes. The first being November 5th with the other remaining episodes on November 19th and December 3rd. Follows like a group of uh, Xeon units. They're, they're called Noisy Fairy. So they try to steal our name there, almost. And they're like, no, 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 no. We gotta, we don't wanna get sued. Noisy Fairy is is their name. And the game looks great. I'm really excited. For Braz announced that their 2D, 3D platformer Demon Turf will launch on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, Nintendo Switch, and PC on November 4th, 2021. 
I don't know what it's evolved into since it's been in like a demo early access type of thing, but it looks it looks like they're just trying to be like more of a challenging platformer and it looks cool. I'm I'm okay with that. Like a speedrunner's game. If you get the high score in the demo, then you get a free copy of the game, but it's like 20 bucks. It's not really. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. Get a free game. Get a high score. Get your name solidified with the greats. Kiwiworks released a new trailer for Witch Spring R. This is a remake from the original version, Witch Spring, which released on iOS and Android a long time ago. And it, it just, it's an update. Just an update. The game is currently planned to release on consoles and PC in 2022, but I didn't like the other one, so I'm probably not gonna like this one. But if it's updated, oh well, we'll see. The, the illustrations are really cute. It looks like a mobile game but they're saying that they've redeveloped this from the ground up to not be a mobile experience, to be a console experience, so maybe it'll be better. Leap Games announced that their action brawler Toonche will launch on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Series X, and PC on November 2nd. This has that hat kid or whatever. Yeah, that's all I know about it, but it looks cute as hell. Hand-drawn animations, and it's an action brawler. Sign me up. Publisher and developer Capcom have announced that Monster Hunter World has sold 20 million units, including shipments for Monster Hunter World Iceborne, the expansion, it's like a master edition, as it were. I just wanted to say congratulations to the team, and it's cool to see Monster Hunter doing so well. Better than the movie did. Yes, there was a movie, and nobody talks about it. Indian Games announced that a couple of cute -em ups will be releasing next week on October 29th on PS4 and Switch. We have Panorama Cotton and Cotton 100%. These are remakes, remasters, remasters of uh, the original Cotton games that came out in arcade and Super Famicom, Mega Drive, all those came out in the early 90s. They're just putting them on better consoles with some more modes. It's a cute game has nice illustrations. I know a few people on staff that are looking forward to this. Ziggurat Studios announced that Blood Rain Revamped and Blood Rain 2 Revamped will release on PS4, Xbox One, and Switch on November 19th, 2021. There is a physical release plan from Limited Run Games, but it doesn't look that good. If you buy both, you can connect the boxes, but everything in it is like a keychain, just like some, the box art's terrible. It, I don't know, I don't know. I wouldn't spend more than like 20 bucks on it, but I'm probably sure they're probably gonna charge like 80 or 60 knowing them, maybe even 100, who knows? Yeah, I'm excited for this game. I'll probably try to get a standard version of the physical release, but I don't know about that limited edition. I don't really like limited editions anymore. The boxes are just too big. After so many, you start to be like, oh, I just want the game because some of them you don't open and then you just <laughs> have this game stuck in this box forever. I don't like that. I like to see my games. Solo developer Ming Yen Yu announced that their third person action title Drifting Weight of the Feathers will launch on PC on December 15th, 2021. I have no idea what this game is, but I took five seconds to watch the trailer and I knew that it was a game for you. Maybe it was a game for me. There's a lot of physics going on in this game. It doesn't look good at all, but I felt the need to share it, and here I am. The arcade crew announced that they will publish Berserk Studios' developed 2D action game, Infernax, on PS4, Xbox One, Series X, and Switch, and PC in Q1 2022. This is a 8-bit action pixel game, and it's super gory and really cool. I don't think anyone's really talking about it right now, but check out the trailer because it's pretty funny and just kind of dark and gory. I don't know, it's cool. On to visual novel news, Shiro Vune, a few announcements, stay with me, announced the release of Simon Gaguchi, Secret Desire. The visual novel is developed by Dark One and it's releasing on Jurin. I believe it's available now, by the time this posts, maybe, check Jurin. Anyway, it's one of those hypnotic ones where the kids like picked on in school and then he finds this like way to uh, hypnotize the girls and then he gets what he wants which is revenge porn i guess <laughs> some of us want money some of us want revenge porn 
I can't, can't blame a guy. Shirovune also announced that they will publish the Alice Soft developed strategy RPG visual novel Donna Donna on PC in the West on October 29th. This game was supposed to come on a PC via Steam, but it didn't. And now we're getting it on Jiren, which is okay with me because I didn't think we would ever get this game. So shout out to Sh Shirovune for licensing all these uh, games that no one wants to touch. I don't blame some of them for not touching them, but uh, this one I'm looking forward to. It's very stylish, very uh, sexy. Uh, yes. Faku announced that Abandon Princess of the Decay has been banned on Steam. But right before its release on October 19th, the game is available now on Ichio and Faku. And it's a really weird game. It's you, you, you can go down a rabbit hole, but it's kind of like a death game with sex and there's BL elements in it. And, um, but you can turn that off if you want. And there's, there's just, everyone fucks each other in this game, but it sucks that it was banned on Steam. These publishers do use Steam to get their game out easier. There's just more eyes on the product in that sense. And it's just easier to sell it. I mean, I believe that Steam takes a bigger cut on sales, but you can't, you can't beat the marketplace that they have built there. And these uh, publishers know that and it kind of sucks. So if you like visual novels and strange death games with sex in it, by all means, check out Abandoned Princess of the Decay. Spike Chunts of Japan shared the overview trailer for Danganronpa Decadence coming to Switch. And I'm just looking forward to it. Looks like a cool game. And I just wanted to highlight that there's a trailer out there. So if you haven't seen it, watch it. What are you doing? Interviews on the site. We have an interview with Blue Reflection Second Lights developers. Previews on the site. We have Grow, Song of the Evertree. Reviews on the site. We have Inscription, Circuit Superstars, Into the Pit, Dungeon Encounters, Echo Generation, Crisis Remastered Trilogy, The Good Life, The Dark Pictures Anthology, House of Ashes, Ever Tried, Shadow, Corridor on Switch and Alan Wake Remastered. And guys, that's it. That's the news. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to me in the comments and hang out all you want. I'll be here just chilling. Have a good week. Bye. <laughs>